I think it's time to say, Sky Stream, it's time for you to go. But not get rid of Sky completely. You people out there convinced me to stick with Now TV. And I'm convinced. But getting rid of Sky Stream, Steve, what are you going to use? Well, I've been really diving in deep. Now, I just use my Apple TV to watch stuff, but I've been starting to play with the settings and all the stuff that you can do. So today, I'm going to say goodbye to Sky Stream. Hello, Apple TV 4K and Now TV. Should we get into this? Let's do it. Okay, so what you can see here, right, I've, I, look, I've changed this all around a little bit, right? I've put, at the top shelf, I've put all my favourite apps. Now, to do that, it's really simple. You click and press the centre button on an app and hold it down. And you'll see the thing start shaking. Then you use the directional button to start shifting about. Now, if you wanted to create a folder while that's pressed down, you press the play and pause button on the Apple remote. As you can see, it just popped up on the screen. And then it asks you to create a folder or you can move it to a folder you've already created or you can delete. Now, I don't need to do that. I'm just going to come back. Very nice. And then you press the back button again and it stops shaking. So I've organized my apps. OK, now a lot of people were really interested in last week's video about this, the TV launcher. Now, this has been a game changer. Now, what this does is it allows you, you can completely customize it. So I've set it. So when I open it up, it instantly takes me to the TV guide. And for now, I have what's on now and what's on next. Now, you can go into the settings, as I showed you last week, go down to the TV guide itself and we can change that to the full guide. Now, I didn't know if we could get back to something that had happened previously. Let me just show you from example. So now I've gone back to full. I go back up to TV guide. Wait for that to change. And now you see I get everything. Now I can go backwards in time. Now I thought, well, why would you go backwards in time? But of course, this is launching the iPlayer or ITVX. So of course you can launch that because it will be on ITVX because it will be on their server so you can watch what you might have missed back in time. Now I know some of these are like 30 days but you can do it. So you could go backwards and maybe watch Game of Talents or Dress to Impress wherever it might be. Okay so I'm going to go back because I do like I like it a bit more what's the word? organized <laughs> that always just throws me a little bit uh so there's a lot of stuff in the settings in this tv guide launcher and as i said last week of course guys as you know it cost you three pound 49 but the good thing about it is if you wanted to watch something and i will get to now tv in a second but if i wanted to watch gold i click on that watch gold and we are in and we click back and it will take us to now TV. Click back again. And we go back to our thing. Now, of course, I've signed up to the movies. I'm going to get to this in a second, guys. I'm going to tell you why I've done this. Now I can look at all the movies. What's on Sky Cinema? Now, these I've added in the TV launcher as my favorite channels. But then I can go down to the normal channels. And you can see that this TV launcher has pretty much everything that you could want. And we can go to the forward, we can go back. So it acts just like, there you go, Simpsons Showcase. Guess what it's going to do? Launch Now TV. Alibi, it's going to launch, going to launch, going to launch, going to launch, going to launch. As you know, it will just launch. It's perfect. It's so good. I can't see why I would need Sky Stream. 
I know Skystream probably does this a little bit smoother and it doesn't have to open an app, it goes straight in. But for the sake of what I've worked out, and I'll show you this in a bit. So let me just come back. Now, of course, I'm on the Apple TV. Now I've got my apps. Now I can install more apps. I can do lots more things. But what I'm liking about the Apple TV experience, let me just go to settings, for example. Now, of course, in general, We've got about screensaver. I can set dark. I like the dark, but we could set it to automatic and then it will go to light. But I do like the dark mode. It's not quite dark. It's got like this space gray type look and feel to it. Uh, we can do sleep. We've got restrictions, legal, uh, all this stuff, dictation. We can use the, it, honestly, there is so much you can do with this box. It's unreal. Um, also as well with video and audio, of course, I've got this in 4K Dolby Vision. Uh, we can change that if we wanted to, but that is, you know, it's exactly what I need. I think there is a 4K Dolby Vision, which is what I've got it set to, the 60 hertz, uh, which is its highest. Um, I also recommend changing the match dynamic range to on and match frame rate on. So whatever show that you're watching, it will match the frame rate of that show to give you the best audio and visual quality. Um, also, we've got check HDMI connection, so it'll make sure that it's communication. We've got tap to zoom, we've got video. Also, we've got audio output. Now, I've got mine on the TV speakers, but if you had an Apple HomePod like I do, the original, you could select that. It works perfectly. And you, if you've got two of them, you can pair them up and you've got Dolby, surround, spatial, all that amazing stuff that Apple TV will deliver to you. Um, as you can see there, I've got auto at most available, which is on. Dolby Atmos, and that sounds incredible. I will show you that in a second. Uh, reduce click sounds, navigation, all of this amazing stuff. Notification, AirPlay, and HomeKit. Again, guys, if you've got, if you're in the Apple ecosystem or you own an Apple iPhone, you don't need the remote. You can use your phone. You can share what's on your screen. If you've got an iPad or a MacBook, it will share to the screen. We could also add. Um, we can also add change the touch surfaces of the button. We can change the TV button, which is this button here, and that will change from home screen to Apple app, but we're gonna change it to home screen, so I'd like to go back to the home screen. Bluetooth, remote app devices. So if we went to Bluetooth, I've got a DualShock wireless controller. It's not connected at the moment, but I do that because, yes, because I like to play games, because this is a unbelievable good little game system um, on the Apple TV doesn't just do tv music and photos and everything else it's got some really good apple arcade games in this as well um and we've also got accessibility apps we can choose what apps we want installed what we don't want on and so forth from the settings network it also has an ethernet plug so you know you're going to get the best capable speeds all the time then we have the system so we can see what's new restart or reset and all those amazing things. Uh, now, obviously, I've got a little one on here. I've taken all my games off because I'm going to do a reinstall of everything, can do like a play-by-play. -play. Um, but it is, honestly, it's so good. Uh, that's just one of the folders that I created, but I've taken a lot of the games out of that. Uh, and it, it, I just love the fluidity of it. Now, what I've done on Apple TV, I've changed this to Up Next rather than Apple TV. So it will show me what's up next. So whatever I'm watching... My daughter was watching that. Uh, my son was watching that. Um, I can see what I was watching and what's up next. Yellowstone and so forth. I think that's a really good feature. And I just showed you that in the settings. Also as well, if I double click the TV button, it gives me a nice little what's open menu, just like iPhone. You can scroll along and you can open what you might have already had open. If you wanted to close that, once you're on that, you just scroll up and it will close it. Scroll up and it will close it. It is that good. If I press and hold the TV button, we get to this. Now we can change to people's profiles. So they can have their own personal profiles on the TV. We can also click sleep. We can also go to our home and we can change our lights. So I can select movie night, brightness, depending on what scenes I've got set up for my home. Uh, I've also got that so i can then change to tv speakers or if i had my home pod connected i can connect to my home pod or i can connect to my speakers and of course i can connect to my controller and also as well if you have uh, any home kit stuff like a doorbell 
security cameras, you would be able to see all of that in here just by simply pressing that down. So I can come back here. But the picture quality of this stuff, you know, so if I go back here, the only thing that it doesn't do at the moment is if you're watching something on Netflix, um, it doesn't show it in the what's up next. But it is unbelievable sound and picture quality on this tiny little box. Uh, honestly, um, this this here, me, the TV launcher is a game changer. The apps are very quick. I, I very, very, very rarely have to reboot this box for how quick it is and some of the features that you can do on it. Um, it it's just incredible. I can just show you. I'm just watching America Made. FBI, Picture quality is just stunning. Ultra 4K, HD, you name it, it's got it. It's simply amazing. Seriously, you know, the more I got into and I thought, you know, if I'm going to use the Apple products and I'm going to use the Amazon or anything like that, or I'm going to make a decision. But at the moment, I'm in the Apple system. I get the full Amazon experience in the app because Amazon have really done that so well, um, as you watch from my previous videos. And I kept thinking to myself, so I worked out, um, I put everything in a spreadsheet for Skystream. Sky Q, Sky Stream, whatever. Um, and I'll show you that now. Um, and basically, even with if I ticked every box, and don't forget, now TV, you pay that initial £9.99 or get the whatever, but when you go to cancel, they offer you this deal. And so many of you, and I love reading your comments, so many of you said to me, Steve, just go in, cancel, they offer you a deal. And it's right, I'm paying for the entire entertainment package, um, £3.99 a month. But obviously on top of that, if you want the ultra, or not the ultra, but the 1080p HD and surround sound, you pay the £5 boost. And I also think that lets you skip adverts and stuff like that. Um, okay, so now we're up to, uh, we're up to say 10 quid. Let's say we're up to £10. But then on top of that, you pay for the movies. Now, I get a seven-day free trial on the movies. So when I get to the sixth day, I'm going to cancel it. And lo and behold, they're going to offer me this deal of another three to five-month deal of movies for like two, three quid. So now I'm thinking, well, I'm paying £13 on Sky Stream for movies, for example, and I get Paramount thrown in with that. Then I've got Netflix, but then I have to pay for the Ultra HD version of Netflix on top of that. So when I worked out if I did this myself or my own in the background, it actually worked out cheaper to go with Apple TV, the TV launcher, now TV with entertainment and all the movies, like 600 and something movies, um, and pay for Netflix separately, Ultra HD, um, obviously, Disney's an annual subscription and pay for or the six pound or whatever it is for Paramount. But there's also deals to be had with Paramount. So if you can keep yourself on top of it, because the deals are not just like two or three weeks. Some of these deals are like three months, four months, five months, whatever. So I kind of think the days of having Sky, Virgin, BT, any of those subscription services that want to tie you into a lengthy contract, it's gone. Because you can do this. Not only can you do it, Apple TV is slick. It's smooth. They've dropped the price of it. If you own an iPhone, you can use it as your remote control. You can do you can do so many things. You can set up profiles. There are apps and games that you can play with a controller. Like it was a, oh, it's not as good as a PlayStation 5, but the graphics, I'm telling you, that ain't bad. And the processors that are sticking in this thing is phenomenal. I am blown away and I, I am coming to the conclusion now that if I can get out of this little contract thing that I'm in with Sky Q, 
I don't think I'm going to use it. I don't think I need it. I need to just check. I think the kids don't really use SkyQ anyway, or SkyStream, should I say. They don't use it. Um, so as long as I'm getting all those channels, which I clearly am, and I, it has to launch it. But it's so quick, the Apple TV. It just launches straight in. It's really fast. I don't see a reason for staying with any of these mainstream people anymore and being tied into a lengthy contract that in this uncertain world that we're living in with high rising costs and everything. So I am seriously, guys, uh, I think that's it. I am converted. I am converted. For me now, I'm going to try and wean my way down now off of Skystream and just go with Apple TV. Uh, it's there. It does the job. It's got everything I need. I'm going to stick with it. So I hope you enjoyed this video as always. Thank you so much for your loyal support. And yes, there is a competition coming for you people that have subscribed and liked and cherished these videos. Um, if you haven't done, you can still be in with a chance. You just need to make sure you hit that subscribe. Follow me on my social media. Uh, make sure that you like and share these videos um, to really get this boost. And, and, and I am going to try and do um, a monthly giveaway for people uh, if I can make that happen. So for all of those that are subscribed, I want to, because you've given me this boost with this channel growing so rapidly, for me now, I want to give back. Uh, so thank you. Make sure you hit that subscribe. Make sure you hit that like. Make sure you hit that notification bell to be notified of the next video coming. And thank you so much. And a happy new year to you all. I hope 2023 is a positive, healthy, happy new year to each and every one of you.